In this video, I'm going to show you how you can present in a Zoom meeting with your video beside your slides using the new Zoom multi-share option. So you see I have a Zoom meeting open. I have my uh, PowerPoint here. And the first thing I want to do is to show you how we can open our video. Now, in a previous uh, video and article, I showed how to use the camera app on Windows or the photo booth app on a Mac to show your video. I wanna show you a new method here. And it actually uses um, HTML and JavaScript. So I've written a small HTML, go to the notes in this video on YouTube and you'll find the link to the article where you can get this code. What happens when we run it is it opens up a browser window and it asks you, do you want to allow the browser to use your camera? I'm gonna say allow. And I've already sized this browser window uh, before to be able to be the right size that I want. If it opens up as an additional tab in the existing browser with the tabs you have open, you can just right click and say, move tab to new window. And that's great out here because I only have the one tab. So that allows me to have my video in a browser window. First of all, this is not sending my video to anywhere else. It's running locally on my computer. And because it's locally on my computer, it's fast. It's not having to send the video down to some server and back. Now I can position my two windows. So I've got my PowerPoint window, I've got my uh, video window, and I can have those overlap a bit if I want. That certainly works. The key to this in our PowerPoint is to run the slideshow in the window not full screen in the window. It's called Reading View. Two ways to get there. You can go to the View ribbon and go to Reading View. Or on the, on the slideshow, in the setup slideshow, you can set it to be browsed by an individual window. I'm going to use the View ribbon and go to Reading View. And what Reading View will do is always start you at the first slide. There's no way to start it in the middle of the presentation. So I'll just advance to the slide that I was on which is this one here. And what you'll notice is, is I have my desktop set up to have my slides, my window that has my video, and I have a PDF of my speaking notes. So this allows you to share just your video and slides, but you can still see your notes. So I've got the Zoom meeting running here already. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and share. And when I go to the share dialog, I'm gonna click first on my PowerPoint window and you'll notice that it has this new message there, hold control to select multiple windows down here. So I'm gonna hold the control key and I'm gonna select the webcam display. And you'll notice it's now selected multiple windows. So when I go to share this, what the audience sees is my video beside my uh, slides. And this is exactly what I want it to do. Now what I'm delivering is a presentation where they see my video, controlled by my web browser, not by the tiny little video window that Zoom usually gives you, and my slides. And because this is full PowerPoint, I can simply go through and it uses all of the features, including things like morph, animations, everything that you see. So I also have a PDF of the notes view in PowerPoint here open. This allows me to see my speaking notes and scroll through them if I want to do that, if I need to do that. The notes view has an image of the slide at the top and your notes down below. And in the notes master, you can make this text bigger if it's a little too small on your screen. I can also in the meeting controls up here is I can open up the chat. So I can open up the chat and have that on my screen as well. So now I have all of the content that I wanna see as a presenter on my screen, but you'll notice the audience only sees my video and my slides. And it's a great way to have more control over what you are showing to your audience. When I'm done, I simply stop sharing and I go back to the regular Zoom. Now, your webcam cannot be already active in Zoom before you open up that browser. So you'll notice my video has been turned off here in Zoom because otherwise it's competing and it, it can't use the webcam for two different apps. So if you wanna go back to the Zoom meeting, and then resume you know, your discussions with everybody else, go to your browser, close it, so that it uh, removes the use of the webcam in the browser. Now you can start the video 
in your uh, meeting. And I've got the, uh, the wrong video chosen here. There we go, that's the integrated webcam. So that's the one that it, uh, it uses by default. The HTML code, go to the article, read a little bit more about that and whether you wanna use that. Now, if you don't wanna use it, you could use the camera app in Windows as well or the photo booth app in the Mac. But this is a way for you to be able to have your video beside your slides presenting in a Zoom meeting using the new Zoom feature of multi-window sharing. If you found this video helpful, there are three things you can do to help me out. First, click the like button below the video on YouTube. Second, leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And third, subscribe to my channel. Check out my websites and other videos with more tips and advice. Thanks again for watching.